Hello, good people of the internet. My name is Hexo. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and to another Lush Kitchen unboxing by yours truly. Today we are unboxing April's box. So let's get straight into the vote and what I voted for and why. Agh, please don't tell me that I forgot to sort the vote. One moment, please. I cannot find the vote folder. Right back. Be right back. <laughs> Alrighty, so for April's vote, first up we had the world's smallest disco. Sparkling citrus scents and spotlights of color are ready for you to get down in your own private bathtub dance floor. Of course I had to vote for this because it just sounded too cute and it looks so so pretty. Next was the cocktail shower gel. This sophisticated scent of rose and jasmine will accompany you in and out of the shower. Evocative of French glamour, it travels from floral to delicately soapy to mysteriously woody. This sounded right up my alley. It sounds like it's going to be a really cool, really complex scent, so I had to vote for it. And plus that purple color is to die for. Party on shower jelly. Get ready for a big night out and more importantly, get up the next morning with this cooling, invigorating blast. Perky fresh mint, menthol crystals, and lime oil clears heads and gives the boost you need. I don't normally vote for shower jellies because I just find them a little bit finicky, but the scents in this sounded just way too good to pass up. I love those like really nice refreshing citrusy and lime and mint scents. So I thought why not give it a go? And plus that neon yellow color is so cool. <laughs> Next was the fun with a twist. How do you want to feel? This dynamic duo of multi-purpose fun has one part zingy and the other dreamy. Wake up or zone out with a little pinch of this lathering bar. I'm actually surprised that I didn't vote for this because I think that I, I really love the sleepy scent and I find that, I don't know, this whole like half and a half thing was kind of interesting, but I guess in the end I didn't vote for it, probably because fun is just like a little bit of a strange kind of item and I don't normally really know how to use it, but the scents sounded really good. Then we have the Let Them Eat Cake Lip Balm, very morbid if we know where that quote comes from. This is a recipe for indulgence, packed full of fruity currant sultana and raisin infusion and glugs of sherry and cognac for good measure. Cake is the answer for softer lips. This is another one that I'm kind of surprised that I didn't vote for. I mean, granted, I don't really super love the scent slash taste of currants and sultanas and raisins, but I do really love that name and the cognac sounded very fascinating, but I think in the end I decided I didn't really need this particular lip balm. And the last thing on the vote was the 29 High Street Solid Perfume, which of course I had to vote for because that is the pinnacle of lush scents. Step into where it all began. You've smelt nothing this intriguing before. Ilang Ilang, aromatic jasmine, and sultry sandalwood blend with sweet Tonka Absolute to settle beautifully to settle beautifully atop of your skin. I thought it said stop of your skin, and I was like, what? Um, okay, so that was the vote. I voted for four out of the six items, and now let's see what we actually got. Where is my box opening knife? Am I sitting on it? Oh, I kind of am. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Ooh. Aw, this is cute. This has Eastery themed thingy inside. It has it has little little Easter eggs. Do you see them? They're so cute. Alright, let's see. The first thing I see in here is something blue. Ooh, what is this? Mmm, this smells very gingery. It's a very, very strong gingery scent or perhaps lemongrass. One of those two or maybe both. I'm not a huge fan of those scents, but I do love how this looks. It's got this beautiful pastel blue and then it's got this like pearlized shimmery finish and it just looks so, so cute. Very, very Eastery. I have no idea what this is. There's no information about it on the vote, so... 
Let's put this down. Actually, I've had a quick sneaky peek inside this box and nothing seems to be from the vote, so I'm suspicious that I might have read the wrong vote out. I don't know. In any case, let's continue forth. Okie dokie. Oh, we've got a little leaf here, which I do believe has come off of someone. Oh, oh, yes it did. We got one of these guys last year as well. I forgot what his name is. Let's put our little leaf back here where it belongs. He's so cute. Hmm. I might be mistaken, but this might have the scent of fennel, which I'm not usually a huge fan of. I don't know. I don't love how this smells. It's a little bit kind of bitter, but it is very, very cute looking. And I think his eyes are made out of chocolate which is kind of cool. I love me some chocolate. Okay, I haven't given ratings for anything. I think I'm done with the whole rating things from one out of 10, one to 10. I just, I can't anymore with the ratings. I'm just gonna do reactions from now on. Okay, Ooh, there's something else here that seems to have broken off of something. I wonder, I think it's also from our little guy whose name I do not know. I'm not sure though. Okay, let's see, what else do we got? Ooh! We have a little flower on a stick. Oh, this is a bubble bar. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, the egg is a bath bomb. Our cute little man, little pink man, little pink munchkin is a bubble bar. And this I think is a bubble bar too. Mmm, and I like how this smells. Oh yeah, this is Honey, I Wash the Kids. Okay, yeah, that's why it was so familiar. It seems to have some little, little, pink candies or something in the middle of it. Oh, it's a little bit soft. A piece of it just broke off. Mm, but I love the smell of this. I love the Honey I Wash the Kids scent. It's just so like delicately sweet and delectable and I am a very big fan. So this is probably my favorite item so far, scent-wise, definitely. <laughs> and design-wise, it's also very cute. Let's keep digging around. Ooh, here we got a shower gel bottle. Purple Carrots Kitchen Exclusive Shower Gel. Let's see, let's see. Whoa, there's a little bubble. There's a little bubble. Eh. <laughs> hmm, I think this smells citrusy to me. Maybe some grapefruit? No grapefruit, but we do have bergamot and Sicilian lemon oil, so that's probably what's giving it that citrusy note. Smells slightly sweet and definitely very refreshing. And I love this purple color. It is so, so pretty. I am very confused though, because I thought this is the April box, but there's nothing in this box that's from the April vote. And now I'm like, where did I go wrong? I don't know. Did they just not include anything from the vote this month? I'm very, very, very confused. Hmm, this smells so good though. I really like the smell of purple carrots. It's very like invigorating and enlivening and refreshing and wonderful and citrusy. Next up we have creamy candy body lotion. Hmm, I'm a little suspicious of this one. I don't think I'm gonna like it because I don't tend to like bubble gummy, super saccharin, um, candy scented things, but let's see. It's got a very, very light, delicate pink color, like super, super light pink. You can barely tell that it's pink at all. Mm. 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 <sighs> Definitely reminds me of the kind of, um, snow fairy slash roller kind of direction. A little bit too sweet for my liking, but not as bad. It's a little bit more delicate, not quite as pungent, but still it is a little too saccharine for my personal tastes. Okay, so I don't know. We didn't get a single thing that was on the vote. I'm very puzzled. Why? Why did, why is none of this on the vote? I don't know. I mean, okay, granted, I like some of the items that are in this box. Um, my favorites would be the flower and the shower gel, but, but what's going on? What's with the vote? 
I don't know. Like, I was kind of excited to get some of the things that were on the vote, and then we didn't get them, and now I'm just, like, super, super, super confused. I don't know what's going on. What is going on? Does anyone have answers? Please help me. Please let me know. Okay, am I, am I confused? Did I read the wrong vote? I really don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. Um, so I've opened up the, um, little details of this order. So this little guy is in fact not a guy. He is Mumkins. So I guess she is Mumkins, I think. I think it's a she if it's called Mumkins. Then we have the Imperial Egg. And the flower is called the mum. So that was it for this month's Lush Kitchen Box. I do like some of the items that we got, but I'm very confused by why they didn't take the vote into account, because I was kind of hoping to get some of the things that were on the vote. I don't know, hopefully maybe they'll include them in a future box. Who knows? Not me. I am very confused. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just choked. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Lush Kitchen unboxing and if you got the box I hope you liked the box and let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite item from this month's box. If you want to follow me on social media all of my links are down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!